Welcome to the Novigo's fifth lecture on SAP Transportation Management Practice course. In this lecture, we cover charge management and settlement. So far in our previous lectures, we've covered order management, transportation planning, and tendering and subcontracting steps in SAP Transportation Management. We saw how we can receive orders from customers, how we can create freight units, how we can plan freight units into freight orders and freight booking, how we can tender our freight orders, and how we can trigger the freight cost calculation. The purpose of this lecture is to cover the charge management and settlement component of SAP TM. By the end of this lecture, you will be familiar with the most important objects, their definition and their interaction within charge management and settlement. We will learn about the structure and objects behind charge calculation. We will learn about the freight settlement document and forwarding settlement document and their usage. This flowchart belongs to the last step or the last component of SAP transportation management, which is transportation charge management and settlement. As you can see, it should be done by integration of SAP TM and SAP ERP. It starts with freight cost calculation and it can be finished in many different ways. This process can be pretty complicated and we try to explore it as much as possible. When doing freight cost calculation, the system takes some objects into account. The first one is freight agreement. What is freight agreement? A long-term contract that represents the contractual relationship with the carrier from whom you are buying transportation services. A freight agreement includes a transportation charge calculation sheet. The transportation charge calculation sheet or TCCS combines the transportation charge element types permitted for a document and the sequence in which the system takes these elements into account during the calculation. The TCCS instructs the TM system about the transportation charges to be calculated and how to calculate them. Transportation charge calculation sheet is consists of one or more rate tables. A rate table is a grouping of prices for transportation services. The prices or rates are listed by validity period in the rate table. You can maintain up to nine dimensions in a rate table. Now, rate table is consists of scales. A dimension of a rate, a scale is used to define a parameter that then defines a rate. In this video, we would like to explore the structure behind charge calculation. I have the charges tab of the freight booking we created earlier opened. And as you can see, these are the line items of our charge calculation. Now I click here to see the details behind this charge calculation. <clears throat> Here it tells me that this charge calculation uh, has been the result of this freight agreement and this calculation sheet. Now let's take a look at this freight agreement. So again, we have different tabs. We only focus on the general data. Here I have the basic data regarding uh, this freight agreement it's the name of the agreement description and the status here i have some more details regar regarding the validity period and the currency here i have the involved parties and uh, again the involved parties and the business partner which is our carrier and here i have the calculation sheet attached to this freight agreement so I can open this calculation sheet to see the details behind it this is the calculation sheet you can attach one or more uh, calculation sheet to your freight agreement this is the only calculation sheet that I have it is consists of three line items weight charge mileage charge delayed departure each of them can be a rate table or they can be a manual amount that has been assigned. So these two, the weight charge and the delayed departure, 
has uh, a price which has directly been maintained here 15 euros and 14 euros mileage charge has a rate table behind it so let's take a look at the rate table this is the rate table it has some general data charge items the involved parties and the scales which we are using which are the dimensions of the rate table two scales that we have are source location and destination location here we can see more detail about the scales that we have in the next tab dates and values we can uh, understand the validity period of this uh, rate table we can uh, see the scales here as well so here it says source location destination location and value so basically uh, it tells me that if our freight goes from this source location to this destination location this value will be incurred now let's take a look at calculation rules in the calculation rule you can maintain an item which uh, is basically the the calculation base behind the structure of your calculation in this tab we have uh, maintained actual distance as our calculation rule means that the distance between the source location and destination location will be measured and the charges will be calculated based on that distance after freight cost calculation has been done two kinds of documents can be created freight settlement document and forwarding settlement document let's take a look at the definition in SAP TM, you can perform freight settlement with your suppliers or carriers by creating a freight settlement document and sending it to SAP ERP. SAP ERP uses the FST or freight settlement document to create a purchase order and a service entry sheet. The SES or service entry sheet is the basis for invoice verification in SAP ERP. What about forwarding settlement document? In SAP TM, you can perform forwarding settlement with your ordering parties by creating a forwarding settlement document and sending it to the SAP ERP for posting to financials. So as you can see, freight settlement document belongs to suppliers and carriers, but forwarding settlement document belongs to ordering parties. Now I would like to create a freight settlement document. Here's the freight booking that we created together and this is the charges tab and you can see all of the charges. So I create a freight settlement document. So here you can see uh, there are again different tabs in this document like other documents there is general data you can find some information about your freight settlement document the your purchasing organization payment terms and general terms like weight volume and quantity here you can see the charges and the total charge here you can see the orders here I only have one freight booking you might have uh, much more than only one freight booking when you create freight settlement document uh, and also other tabs like business partner cost distribution which we discussed earlier 33% phenol and 66.6% acetone since we had two parts of acetone and one part of phenol and you can see uh, that the distribution of charges for each line item
and some other tabs here you can use them to add attachments see the statuses and manage the output one last tab which I would like to show you is the document flow you can see all of the documents here which we created together throughout the scenario uh, this document here is FST type or freight settlement document the predecessor business document was freight booking we had three freight units freight unit was created based on the DTR DTR was the result of uh, the delivery document then earlier we had OTR document and the sales order so all I have to do is to save this FSD or freight settlement document and I can save and transfer this document to my ERP system to create purchase order and do further financial works now this is another point that SAP TM and SAP ERP integrate with each other after creating freight settlement document the document can be sent to SAP ERP then the purchase order and service entry sheet will be created invoice verification will be done then it will be sent to the carrier what about forwarding settlement document? The forwarding settlement document will be sent to SAP ERP, then billing document will be created, invoice for the customer will be created, then it will be sent to the customer. And this is the process of settlement. This is the overview of what we've learned so far. We started with order management. We saw how we can receive customer's order, how we can create OTR, DTR, and forwarding order and how we can convert those requirements into freight units. In the transportation planning component, we saw how we can plan freight units using resources, networks, and schedules to freight orders and freight booking. In the tendering, we saw how different freight orders can be tendered to different carriers. And at the end, in the charge management step, we saw the cost calculation and the necessary objects like freight agreement transportation charge calculation sheet, rate table, and scale. We talked about freight settlement document and forwarding settlement document, and we discussed the integration between SAP ERP and SAP TM at the settlement. I have prepared some exercises based on the lecture we just went through. Exercise number one. Why there is no need to create forwarding settlement document for shipper scenarios? Exercise number two. Provide some examples of elements which can be used as a scale. Exercise number three. What purpose does TCCS serve? In this slide, you can see the answers for those questions.